Well? Something like 36? Boys. Hey guys, my name's Doc Jade. Do you wish Factorio had slightly too many science? Well, do I have the mod for you. Science Pack Galore is a mod that adds an additional 36 science packs to the game, and we are going to make all of them. Let's get started. Our spawn is a little wacky, but it'll have to do. As usual, trees, rocket debris, iron, and copper. Skipping ahead five minutes, there's our first steam engines. After making sure my power poles connect again, I'll use some electric miners for iron, and then go fishing. Okay, first up is automation, which takes the standard automation science packs. I'll be using the full names for each science throughout the run, so I don't accidentally confuse red science with red science and red science. And that is a lot of slots. I'll set up a few miners for copper, then give coal and stone the same treatment. Although we did run out of power as usual. After forgetting to record automation finishing researching, more smelting and arguably not enough handcrafting. There's logistics, let's do walls next. In an impressive show of caffeine induced insanity, I'll set up some temporary belt production. Almost run out of power again and finished stone walls. Time for lamps. Then turrets. Time to set up smelting arrays, and here I make the executive decision to run the bus east. With great iron comes great lack of power, so I'll run a belt for coal. There's turrets. Next up is, uh military. After finishing the coal mine, I'll paste down the smelting arrays, finish military, and start steel. Am I procrastinating making the new sciences? Totally. After some light mass deforestation, the smelting arrays are finished. I'll plug in the ores, expand power some ores, and drill for more of our ore. More science packs and belts later, the bus begins. While setting up belt production again, steel finished. There's no more avoiding it. Time for our first new science pack. Raw science. Iron and copper ore. Not too bad to be honest, good thing it can only get worse from here. But first, let me finish setting up belts, inserters, stone bricks, and walls. And why not? Turrets too. And second, the pollution is getting pretty close to that nest. And I can't even see over here. So let's place a radar and set up ammo production. Okay, now we can get started on science. Never thought I'd see the day where I'd need copper ore on the bus. First up is automation science. After a small biter attack, we can set up the lab and finish researching raw science. A quick copy and paste later, we've got raw science. With it, we can research electronics. I should probably do something about that nest soon. Anyways, next up is fast inserters. Now for some pretty standard green circuits. Three to two, just like blackjack. Around now I would start building walls around my base, but since laser turrets are eons away, I'll try a different approach. For now, let's just ignore the biters altogether and keep working on science. Next up is basic military science. Then basic logistics science. Both of these are relatively simple, if not a tad odd. Basic logistics science takes splitters and burner inserters.
and basic military science takes a submachine gun and some yellow ammo. Thankfully, most of the new science recipes make multiple science per craft. Also something I never noticed, submachine guns take the same ingredients as turrets, but you would never know that because nobody in their right mind would automate submachine guns. After dealing with some opportunistic biters, two more sciences down. Only 39 to go. Eventually, I plan on transitioning to a rail base, but trains are still quite far away. Oh well, next up is electricity science, then defense science. If you paid close attention, you might have noticed that we skipped science pack four, the steel science pack. Oops, we'll get it later. Defense science takes walls and turrets. Luckily, we already automate those over here, so we'll just sneak them out with some belt shenanigans. Our iron output is a tad low, but we still can't research steel furnaces quite yet, so it'll have to wait. There's defense science. Now for the slightly ridiculous electricity science, which takes boilers, offshore pumps, and lamps. Lamps are no problem. But now I have to run stone all the way up here for the furnaces. Offshore pumps aren't too bad either, we'll just have to squeeze gears in here. There we go. Now I finally realize I forgot to do steel science, which means the belts are also in the wrong order. Oh well, we'll research that. Logistics science, then redesign the labs so we can have more inputs. After another delightful visit from the biters, I returned the favor then started reordering the belts. Now for steel science, which is pretty easy. I'll just make the steel on site since we don't have a smelting array for it yet. Let's go chuck it in the labs. Then we can set up logistics science by stealing belts and inserters from our starter mall. A bit of belting later, we can start researching again. We'll queue Tool Belt, Landfill, Circuit Network, Steel X, Automation 2, Advanced Material Processing, and Electric Energy Distribution 1. Quite the mouthful. Since I can't see the bottom edge of the pollution, there might be biters down there. But a super easy way to check is to use the Pollution tab in the Production menu. No nests means no angry biters. Now would probably be a good time to set up steel production. Thankfully, two furnaces is all we need. 14 times. There's Tool Belt, next is Landfill. It looks like the new sciences form a gradient between the original sciences, which is neat. I'll make sure to put them in chromatic order. Speaking of science, let's see what we've got coming up. Circuit Network unlocks programming science, which takes red and green wires. Sure, why the heck not? Circuit Network, Steel Axe, Automation 2, Advanced Material Processing, and that super long power pole one. Time to queue Engine, Lab Research 1, Heavy Armor, Weapon Shooting Speed 1, Physical Projectile Damage 1, Military 2, and Logistics 2. Engine, bricks, blah, blah. I'll upgrade the iron smelting array, speedy bullets, ouchy bullets, and new ouchy things. By the way, the spaceship is kind of in the way. We'll have to remove it later. And finally, logistics too. Let's keep the metaphorical ball rolling. Fluid handling, lab research speed two, ouchy bullets two, speedy bullets two, solar energy, oil processing, and flammables. Fluid handling. Lab research speed, build more steam power. Ouchy bullets too. Looks like we're polluting a nest again. I suspect it's right here. Speedy bullets too. My hunch was correct and after a semi-peaceful negotiation and a quick chat with the neighbors, I went for a relaxing evening stroll. After researching solar and negotiating another ceasefire, there's oil processing and flammables. Okay, back to science packs. Next up is improved automation science, which takes steel furnaces and assembling machine tools. After running steel and stone bricks over, that's the furnaces done. 
Now for the assemblers. Not too hard either. The craft times are pretty long, but we get 30 science packs per craft. That's 29 more than one. After some more psychosis induced belt weaving, let's get started on the next one. Assault science. It takes two red ammo and a grenade. Copy. Paste. Research. Luckily, we already have all the ingredients for red ammo right here, but no coal for grenades. After a quick affine transformation later, there's grenades. Next is improved logistics science, which takes red belts and fast inserters. A very short build montage later. Let's set up the ingredients. I'm noticing that a lot of these sciences so far are super iron heavy, which isn't too big of an issue right now, but it's still pretty concerning. After hooking up the belt of green to the big mean blue assembly machine, there's fast inserters. Now we just need to wait for the science to finish sciencing. Might as well upgrade the iron belt while we wait. And run the belt for the science. There we go, now I can turn it on, unlike my ex-girlfriend. After chucking it into the labs as usual, next is programming science, red and green wire. Super simple, just copper wire and green circuits. Imagine if red wire took red circuits. Before I could dwell on that thought, biters bit the coal mine. I'm too lazy to run down south right now, but a few turrets should do the job. Okay, back to Christmas colored wires. After programming science finishes, I'll fix the backwards inserters, then we'll get started on energy distribution science, medium and big power poles. This mod is pretty fun so far. It's not much more complicated than vanilla, plus I get to automate things I've never automated before, like wires and submachine guns. Also, it's time for everyone's favorite ingredient, iron sticks. Another thing I never noticed is medium and big power poles use the same ingredients. That makes my life a lot easier. And there we go, energy distribution. Now I'll research railway to unlock railroad science. That's a lot of steel. After plagiarizing my own work again, and moving stone up the bus yet again, I'll cue the prerequisites for automotive science, cars and concrete, the American science pack. Rails are done, now for the cargo wagons. And that's railroad science. Let's make some concrete. This is probably the earliest I've ever set up concrete in a run. While moving the iron up, there's automobilism. Pairs nicely with anti-disestablishmentarianism. There's the ore, and luckily stone bricks are a tad closer. After getting some wa- uh, there's concrete. Now for cars, which take engines, so this'll probably be pretty slow. I'll queue train stations, then wait for our abysmal iron plate supply to finally make some automotive science. After belting the science like my dad belts me, let's go take out this biter nest that's a little too close to the pollution cloud. Train stations, next up is rail signals. Now for automated railroad science. I really wish I had robots, but luckily they aren't too far away. Around now, I started experimenting with rail-based designs. None of them stuck, but at least now I have an idea for a new video. I also automated all of the ingredients for automated railroad science, which I totally didn't forget to start researching. Iron supply is still dropping, so I had to tear down the spaceship to squeeze out just a little bit more from this patch. After tearing down my circular rail base experiment, let's get back to science. Getting the ingredients out of here was a bit weird, but nonetheless, another science down. Next we'll research plastic and sulfur. Luckily we don't have to go very far for oil, although one patch will be slow. Oh well. Plastic. Let's set up oil refining.
and there's sulfur. Now for petrochemical science. Even though we don't have advanced oil processing, might as well set up the entire cracking setup right now before I forget. Our coal patch is getting attacked pretty often now, but luckily we have guns and they don't. Time for plastic. And after the science finishes, let's start everything up. After throwing together some sulfur production, there's petrochemical science, which is totally not missing a long inserter. Let's get this back over to the labs. Looks like the science packs are starting to turn blue, which means they're now out of order. Fixing it would take a while, so too bad. Speaking of blue, let's start working towards chemical science. First up is red circuits. Small problem, we don't have enough petroleum to make petrochemical science, so we can't research red circuits very fast. Which is obviously due to our tiny oil supply, but this patch to the north should be enough. After a quick natural resource conflict later, I realized I forgot the pump jacks. After a quick strategic retreat, let's run a pipe back to the base. Two minutes later, red circuits are done. Now for chemical science. Let's set up those red circuits. Next up is engines. Also super simple, but we're running low on power. Looks like we're running out of coal. I'll set priority on the splitters and build a few more miners. Now we just need to bring all the ingredients together. And there's chemical science. I'll plug it in. Then watch the biters immediately decimate it. Oh, and the oil field too. After fixing that, I'll take out the nests responsible. You know, right now would probably be a good time to research some more shooty shooty bang bang. One more. Coincidentally, next up is military science, and more kablamo. All of the ingredients for military science are already scattered around the base, so the science is just a quick game of hide and seek away. We'll give the gun stuff a rain check and cue everything we need to unlock robots. I'll also upgrade power production. Advanced oil processing. I'll go ahead and switch the recipes on the refineries. And finish setting up cracking. And right on time, there's lubricant. I made the mistake of taking a quick peek at some of the upcoming sciences. Luckily, I won't have to set up either of these for at least 50 hours. No, I am not kidding. Luckily, there's no better time than the present. And presently, we've unlocked electric engines. Let's set them up. And there's batteries as well, but we'll build them later. Robot frames are up next, and as I was going to grab materials for them, I realized that we are starting to run pretty thin on iron ore. Yar, there be iron board off port quarter. But biters attacked, research finished, and I left the oven on. So let's switch back to gun upgrades before we set sail. <laughs> Running a belt this far would be pretty expensive, so let's set up our first train. I'll make it double-headed, and as I started to feed it coal, the biters came to say hi. So I returned the favor. This one too. 
I totally forgot that I had a car, so let's go check out the biter bases next to the new iron patch. Yeah, that's a lot of worms. I'll deal with that later. Let's finish the iron patch, shall we? After running back to grab more plates for belts, I laid the track back, set up loading, and plugged it in. We'll fix the power problems later. After stationing a standing army and picking a pretty color, I'll set up unloading. It may look stupid, but it works. Okay, back to robots. Let's finish setting up the flying robot frames. After bringing steel over, it's battery time. And after setting up the sulfuric acid, I went to check on the steam engines to see if they were low on coal. Turns out, I accidentally unplugged the left one. Back on topic, batteries are done. And after bringing them up, we can start making the frames. A quick green wire later, we've got construction robots. I'll set up robo ports, start peppering them around the base, and gather materials for another smelting array. There's projectile damage, which reminds me I should probably queue military three. Someone told me that poison capsules are overpowered, so I'd like to try them. While I started automating all of the kinds of inserters, the biters decided to make the most aggressive expansion I have ever seen. No thank you. And while I was dealing with that, the bots finished building the new smelting array. But now our bottleneck is loading the train. I'll go redesign that with some buffers. Then I'll upgrade some more belts around the base. But now I can't unload fast enough, so I'll double it. I should really take out these biter nests next to the iron ore patch, but Military 3 still isn't done. I'll bump it to the front of the queue. Then we can go take out those biter nests the old-fashioned way. There's a couple more to the east, so I'll deal with those too. Military 3 is done. I'll go automate the capsules after I kill these last two nests. The capsules are pretty cheap, just coal, steel, and green circuits. After getting jump scared by some bots, we've got capsules. I'll go try them out right after I improve red ammo production for military science. Also, there's weapon shooting speed 3, now for some mining productivity. With the ammo done and military science happy, let's go try the capsules. And I've got to say, they're pretty powerful. You can kill the biters before they can even walk away from the nest that spawned them, and more importantly, you can kill all of the worms in the nest quite quickly. They also quickly became my favorite way to clear trees. There's mining productivity. Next is worker robot speed. I kept taking out biter bases for fun, but then I ran out of ammo, so I had to run back. Worker robot speed. Let's do another level. After making some more capsules, let's get back into it. Worker robot speed 2. Another level couldn't hurt. After a bit more exploring and preemptive maintenance, we shouldn't have to worry about biters for quite a while. Our base is chronically low on green circuits, which isn't even remotely related to researching logistics robots, but I couldn't come up with a better segue. I'll set up a few more basic items for the robots to use, then I got bored and went hunting again. There's logistics robots, now for accumulators. 
Now it's time to start working on switching to a rail base accumulators. But I couldn't decide on how I wanted the base to look. Explosives. That was until I saw the diagonal intersections. Mr. Krabs, but we'll have to save that transition for part two. But before you go, I've got to thank my supporters on Kofi. Their contributions continue to contribute to the continual collapse of my questionable cognitive condition. And that's all for today. My name's Doc Jade. Bye bye.